Uh, let's play this game. <laughs> uh, Yakuza Kiwami. Uh, I forgot to turn down my sound. I'm not quite as ready to be to start this as I should be. Actually, I'm kind of hoping the sound settings aren't goofy. I had to switch them around for another video. Whatever, we're in, like Flynn. And I'm missing important uh, deep game telling me what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So let me get reset here a bit. I'll ask about Uthibori and Mizuki's. Tattoo. Sorry, I had a, something blocking the screen there for a second. His parlor in Eugene Hall is right behind Pig Street. So, here's the deal. I'm feeling a little under the weather today. For those of you who watch the occasional, like, you know, health update videos and kind of know about what's going on, you can guess why. Um, otherwise, I don't want to dwell on it because I, you know, I'm going through something. I'm going through it. I don't want to think about it. This is a distractor. If I do feel, if I do sound a little off, that would be why. But hopefully, even though we won't have the heady excitement of Mesu King to lift our spirits this time, we should find some fun stuff to do. We are here because off screen, I played around a little. I kept fighting the same guy over and over. I fought the, the queen lady what's her, what, like one time. I got bored of fighting the same kid. But I needed to win some Mesu King uh, matches in order to get the final card. So now I've got all the Messi King cards. We got to the point where we had all but one, which just didn't sit right with me. So I played some just random off-screen Messi King matches to get enough victories to be given the final card. Mostly I played that kid who always chooses the same card, despite that match with him being about thinking about your opponent's best attack to the guard against it. And the, the doctor, professor, uh, Messi King guy telling us, that's why we won in the kid's presence. He still just does the same print thing. I got bored with that, so one time I switched over and played that queen of the other arcade, and she actually beat me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, she has a two for one. She actually has a lifetime uh, advantage over Kiryu, but nobody else does. Uh, I went one for one against the professor in off screen action, leaving me at a two and one over him. But eventually I just reconfirmed I didn't have to write, fight different kids, I just had to win a certain number of matches. And therefore, I unlocked this. Oh, mister, you're battling with so many people. Since you're given Nessie King your all, let me give you this. Ashy Gray Ladybug. Keep doing your best to become even stronger. That's the last card. There may be a Mesu King uh, finale. Not a finale. We've done the finale. We are done with Mesu King, but there may be a little ep epilogue, or even just treat it as a callback. There is one more thing I think can happen with Mesu King, but it can't happen now, and when it does happen, we'll see it, and it'll be fun. But the Mesu King content, it, it, it's done. Like, this is like if you're watching uh, Star Wars Episode Three and Jar Jar appears briefly to remind you that he once existed. It doesn't mean that, like, Jar Jar is a main part of Star Wars Episode Three. So we've got a little something still to do with this world of Mesu King, but we're done for all you know major purposes. What we need to do now, what we need right now, is love, sweet. Man, okay, we've got forty-eight percent completion on the adventure stuff. Let's, I'm just curious what's left. Spending money and making money. That's it. We've done everything else that counts as. Adventure and battle. We've got Colosseum stuff is left to do. Gear. Oh, I guess there's a lot of weapons we didn't acquire. I can think about that. Kamaki, and that probably unlocks. There's one from Kamaki. There's five from Kamaki. There's probably a ten or fifteen from Kamaki. Sub stories. Let's see. Sub stories were almost done. Surprised at that. Majima, which is something I set out to do anytime it's available, is actually where we are furthest behind in the completion on these wacky stuff. Mini games being a second, because there are certain things like I've just uh, you know we're not we're not going to actually 15 prizes from UFO catcher is doable, but there's probably a third level of that that I'm not interested. We'll do Yuna and Rui, uh, Yui and Rina's. Uh, they can merge together to form Yuna and Ryu. The protagonists of Street Fighter and Final Fantasy X finally coming together. I thought I did oh, get a best shot in the photo booth. Apparently I don't know how the photo booth game works because I didn't earn a best shot. 
Poker, blackjack, baccarat, I don't know. The card stuff, I'm just probably not going to do. Ten hat tricks. Oh, darts. I don't remember what a hat trick is. Is hat trick going out on like a double bullseye or something? I don't know. I don't remember. I, I know the basic rules of darts, but I don't remember what those are. Combination shots. Carom shots. You'd have to tell me what that means. Yeah, there's... Okay, so there's various mini games we haven't even tried yet. And then there's ones that are like Mahjong. And Mahjong, I am not learning to play Mahjong just for the benefit of this game. Somehow, some way, you can bring people with you on karaoke. And once we've unlocked that, even though it's not going to be as obvious as it is in Like a Dragon, we've got this huge group of people to earn friendship with. I probably will go back and just get some completion points from that. But what are we actually going to do with this video? Well, if I want to get going with Majima, we need to advance the main story. I don't know how much main story. There might be like one little mini thing in the main story, and then Majima's instantly unlocked. And my plans to get back into the main story for a while could be derailed. I don't know. We've also got a lot of little hits about side quests, and the main reason that I would be doing anything with them now, even though I keep saying I want to get back to the main story, and I do, apparently we're quite close to being done with the side quests, and it would be weird if I finished them all and there's still a lot of main story content to go. But as we've learned, the side stories are uh, sometimes dependent on time of day. It's either night or it's day, and the main story determines like what chapter you are the main story determines whether it's night or day until you get to the end when you have some free roam capability in this world after the main story is done and that includes an ability to switch the time of day so you can do side quests at your leisure but i like doing the side quests as they become available so i think what we're going to do like we got one guy who was like help i need my medicine or i'm going to die and i'm like yeah i know but i got mezu king to play we should probably try to figure out which where he is and help him uh, we know that this is that little kid who needs someone to play with. It doesn't seem like we can do anything with that yet. I have a feeling that it'll be a future chapter also set during the day when we can finally connect him with Harumi-chan. But yeah, let's check and see what side quests we can do. Um, not going to get involved. Like, this is my solemn promise to you, which could break, but probably won't. It's a, it's a, it's a, the unbreakable vow, but this is the probably won't be broken vow. Not planning on doing, like, batting cages and bowling and any of that kind of stuff like i'm not looking for distractions in the main story but i do want to see what we can do with these new sub stories particularly even i don't like the idea of that guy who said he's about to die without his medicine waiting for like days <laughs> because we did the side story the main story but i don't know exactly which uh are you trying to spend a 200 000 yen bill on a vending machine? Maybe not. Hey. Oh, you're that guy, that fake cop almost fool. Yeah, thanks to you, I managed to avoid that. Good for you, but heck, since you're here, you want to help me find that stupid crook? I lost track of him somewhere around here, but I bet he's hiding nearby. Can you help me find him? What? Why would I do that? Hey, I stepped in for you before that asshole got you caught up. Get caught up your cash. You don't want to return the favor? Well, I guess I do owe you one guy who talks a little bit like what you... The, the, the fucking shakedown in the background. <laughs> right, then let's split up. I'll go that way. You check through the alleyway. Sure. Tendayo. Well, this would be the fake cop, I guess. How oh, fuck did I lose that Lakusa? I don't remember how I talked last time. Fortune for you, no, I'm right here. Ah! Targeting Yakuza with your ski was the stupidest thing you could have done. There will be blood to pay. Sh shut the hell up! Found you. Damn, you think you can kill me? Not if I kill you first. Hey, big guy, lend me a hand here. You guys asked for it. I really didn't, you know. That's one way to beat a guy with a gun. Break his face instantly. 
Hey, thanks for the help. I couldn't have done that without you. I'm sorry. Please spare my life. I beg of you. I told you there'd be blood to pay, didn't I? Yikes. Please just take this and let me loose. 70,000 yen. Trust me, I'm really sorry for what I did. I won't do it again, I promise. Huh? You think a half-assed apology is going to cut it after you pull a fast one out of Yakuza? My man, thanks for your help. My family will take care of it from here. Uh, uh sure. I won't do it ever again. Please, someone help me. Well, he knew what he was getting into when he targeted Yakuza. Whatever happens, hopefully he learns this lesson. Wait, so we're just going to let them kill this guy? Okay, Kiryu's morality is uh, a little tough to follow sometimes. He's not all goody two-shoes. Oh, I should have enough to uh, level something up here, though. Can upgrade abilities. Um... Is this the tray? Okay, I was on the wrong. Uh, I was on the wrong thing. Yeah, so we got snatching strike, which has been kind of fun, although it does use heat. Beyond it is lightning fist. Launch a counterattack when an enemy comes at you. This attack sends a throck. A throck. Shockwave through their body as if they were struck by lightning. But I haven't figured out the. Oh, hey, I need eighty-five for that. Ah, oh, crap. It's, I thought it was eighty. It's eighty-five. Got a bunch of 50s here. Evade, then grab and lift an enemy, twirling them around before sending them flying with a spectacular throw. Usable in heat mode. Launch counterattack when an enemy comes at you. This sends a shock through their bodies if there's. Oh, that's the one I was just on. Yeah, the problem with those R1 stances, I haven't figured out what the timing is. Like, I do it right when I think I'm getting attacked and it never works. I don't know if I'm doing it too late or too early. Uh, pressure the enemy with a powerful kick combo. This uses up the heat gauge. Release a charge punch after evading with a quick step to increase the damage of your attack. However, you can't charge a knee attack. Weapon durability won't drop. Not doing that much with the uh, rush combos. Or maybe I should be. Well, we don't quite have 85 yet, so there's no point in uh, spending a lot of time on this. Anyway, all right, so that probably means this is the... Take that. Oh, god damn it, I'm tired of these guys. Let's get rid of the Tatujan socks and get something that might make it... Uh, I need to get that in inventory. Yeah, we'll get that. Messy King uh, detector is of no use now. We've got all of it, so we can switch to. I've taken a shine to brawler style. Okay, this is not considered an accessory. So, I can either do the thing that will have my enemy groups that I do run into and can't avoid smaller, or just be better, let's just be better at brawling style. It's like I instantly run into a group, I thought, I guess I did touch them. I thought the whole idea was I wouldn't encounter a lot of enemies. Alright. Oleum Sammy. There's supposed to be story happening here. Hey there, Philip. I got something fun. This money is weird. I don't want weird money. You can have it. Are you sure? I'm in the best spirits. Don't even sweat it. Well, don't sweat all in one place now. All right, well. I guess those are marked with exclamation marks. 
Maybe up here at Vincent. Well, Vincent's where I got to take the 200,000 yen bill, the 20,000 yen bill or whatever. All right. Uh, Theater Square. Debula was this quest to find this mafia girl. Well, I really don't know where we're supposed to go. I know exactly what's going on there. We might as well go there next because it's close by. Which is more money from 200,000 yen, man. And the fact that the 200,000 yen, or the 20,000 yen people we've marked on the map will make this significantly easier. I don't give a shit. Maybe they give up on chasing you faster. But anyway, yeah, I was kind of thinking, like, let's go find the guy who's about, like, the people who stole the medicine from the guy who's about to die without medicine. But could be that, uh, I don't think we blew that quest. I don't think there are time limit quests, despite what the, you know, the, the attempt to build a urgency. But perhaps I'm wrong. Hey, oh, I'm going to wait for you, Kiryu Chan. Can I see that 20,000, 2,000 yen bell? Uh. Yeah, I've got one for you. Ha <laughs> ha, can I have it? What should I do? Hand over. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, thank you. Here's a little token of my appreciation, as I promised. <laughs> Only three more to go. Thank you very much. You are so stupid. Thank you very much. All right. Now loading. Load the door. All right, so let's find a safe place. There's some kind of vaguely on the way to our next zone. I just want to get some of this junk out of our inventory. Although, I mean, it's not really worth spending time on that because if we do get new stuff added to our inventory, be it quest or otherwise, we kind of auto get taken to a screen that will let us clear space. Still, though. No interest in that. No interest in that. Oh, I guess I could use the leech gloves. Increase your heat by draining your opponents when you attack. The ladies like the dragon shirt. Dragon binding. I don't think we're using the Yakuza training gear anytime soon. Because this gives you experience boosts and it's just better. So we're not using that. I want the sacrifice stone. Celebrity perfume. Oh, all right. Well, I, okay. So that's not a gift to give to the ladies, but it's still something I'm not that interested in right now. So we got the thing for yeah. Okay, everything that's here is potentially something we'll use at some point. I don't think the dragon binding is likely to get used, but we got enough space. I need to get rid of it. Foppish bumper suit. All right. Joto journeys. Oh, I didn't even. I need a loan, but what about this nouveau riche guy? Carne is uh, thoroughly defeated. I'll fight those guys when I see them because they drop extra bucks, and you can even get a thing to make them show up more often, I guess. Hey, you guys got drugs you stole from some dude who needs drugs so he doesn't die? Only one of you is a dude, I apologize. Uh, how about you? Oh no, you're the guy who, maybe you're the one who stole him. You're my apprentice. Hey, Kano. Oh god, I really should start remembering how these characters talk. Boss. Oh, I know how he talked. What are you doing here? What happened to that woman? Actually, that's exactly how I needed your help, boss. What is it this time? That's about, That's not supposed to be Tao, by the way. That's supposed to be uh, Percy the uh, Persimmon. I uh, need to ask you a favor. Please, sir, can you come with me? No questions asked. Fine. Uh, that's not it, but what happened? I owe you big time, boss. Let's talk somewhere else. About how I'm selling you out to people who want to kill you, and I think that's my path forward. That's my guess. So what is it? Why do we have to come all the way here? Well, it's about that woman I picked up earlier. Uh. Yeah? 
Actually, she was... She was the mistress of some Yakuza. Oh, God. So you fell for the oldest trick in the book. This one's called the Badger Game, and I told you to be careful of it. If you're not careful, they'll force you to build dams. Okay, but we're past that. What can I do about it now? The Yakuza called me and said I had to wait for him. Here for him. If I have to face him alone, he's going to fill my shoes with concrete and send me to sink into the bay. I'll bail you out this time. You're on your own. The bad, well, I don't know what badger game means, but I mean, it sounds like if he thinks this is an old ploy, unless a Yakuza boss is just looking for excuses to kill innocent randos, it's more likely that it's like, uh, okay, well, some other Yakuza who work for the boss tell him, it's okay, we'll calm the boss down, but it's going to cost you. You're going to have to either do some stuff for them or pay them money. But in this case, I think we're just going to beat up a bunch of guys because that's kind of how this game works. I guess they have no choice. I'll help him. After all, I'd hate to see a poor ending to this badger game. So where is this Yakuza? He's already here. What? Nice that they all walk in sync. Hey, Kano, didn't I tell you to come along? How hey, dare you try to sleep with my woman? Why don't you try and show some dignity in life, eh? Yeah, right. This was your plan from the start, wasn't it? What the hell? Listen, I was willing to come and discuss this so we could resolve things like adults. Uh -huh. But if you don't want to come to the table, that's fine by me. <laughs> His uh, rando uh, Yakuza associate on the right with the shades looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, on his left, our screen right. So, Kano-san, you gotta pay for the damages here. Fortunately, it's only gonna cost you four mil to settle this. But there's no way I can pay four mil. That's so much money. And I dropped all of my money at the end of the last area, boss. Boss, please do something. Boss, who are you, patriarch of the dumbass family? <laughs> I like that line. Listen, I like that truck. Listen, this stupid kid is new in town. He's young and foolish. Can we just drop this call and call it a life lesson? You gotta be kidding, fella. Dumbass, dumbass man babies like him with fresh meat walking right into the lion's den. <laughs> but it's fine. After I beat you clowns bloody, you'll be begging to pay the damages from your hospital bed. And since it's two of you, let's go... Double it to eight mil. Knife. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not gonna let a not getting a lot of help from our buddy, are we? Also, I forgot my fancy new move. Triangle, 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 circles. Yeah, square circle, all right. Didn't really get a chance to use it there, but okay. Yeah, now I remember who you are. You're the dragon of Dejima. Say, why don't we just let this one go? I'll even throw some free info in it so you don't hold it against me. Mm -hmm. uh. That is, see, there's a ramen shop called Kyushu Number no. One Star. Try ordering a manga with extra soup and a half side of rice from the manager there. Give you access to a secret casino that only allows regulars, but if you say the code, you're good to go. Ain't that some great intel? Well, well I'll be leaving now. Yeah, that's like the fourth time we've been told that. I guess we should go there. <sighs> you saved my life, sir. Right. Why do you get me involved in this nonsense? It's your life to lose. <laughs> I'm really sorry, sir. This is a thank you for that. Well, never mind. I didn't even get to see it. <laughs> I guess money is tricky when it comes to women. I think I'll spare the fair sex from my masculine charms for a while. You just start using your head. Nobody survives long in this town, falling for every scheme it throws at you. Says the guy who bought a mystical stone from the psychics, whatever the fuck. Yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> but thanks to me, we got info on a secret casino. So everything turned out right in the end, right? I want to find more lucrative ventures. See ya, boss. Oh no, I lost your casino, uh, money boss. He hasn't learned a damn thing. Well, Yakuza's Apprentice presumably has a chapter four. Well, I still want to try to rescue that guy who's going to die uh, immediately if he's not helped. But now I've got to go buy a new tech. X then circle sounds like it'd be pretty fun eventually. 
charge, change your battle song immediately after throwing a weapon. That costs 80. That only costs 50. Charge at the enemy guarding with a weapon to knock that weapon away. I mean, Cyclone Swing sounds like the most interesting of the beast mode abilities. Maybe we'll work our way towards that. And Kyushu number one star. I mean, we've been there before because we've cleared its menu, I believe. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I should be looking at restaurants, not entertainment. There it is. That's close to where the main story is telling us to go. So maybe we'll... Maybe we'll... Um... God, I'm starting to wonder if that guy died because I didn't do this quest fast enough. But there's a cluster of quests over here. Although I think I know what Debla is. I don't know what would be going on at Club Sega because I thought we were done with uh, the guy and the um, his claw machine quest. I thought we had finished that. So I'm not 100% sure what might be going on there. But I guess we'll investigate them all. And hope we didn't uh, permanently lose a side quest by just ignoring it for too long. It could be like the Reaper I IFF all over again from Mass Effect 2. But um, yeah, we'll come back next time. We're going to do some more stuff. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.